Now it's time to prep your Rockwell grow cubes ready for planting your seeds. So as you can see here I've got the uh, Rockwell grow cubes. There's a 98 grow cubes in this pack here. They're split up into small individual cubes that can be broken off. Um, you can actually get um, a block that actually holds 200 which works out a lot cheaper but for this demonstration we're just going to use these. Um, we have a bowl here and in this bowl is some of the water that we prepped earlier that's been dechlorinated and pH stabilized and a little jug so we can move the water around. So let's get started. So this stuff is pretty easy to work with. All you do is Take yourself a nice sharp knife and you can uh, use plastic and actually cut through the grill wall. Now for this demonstration I'm going to be using 14 and as you can see they're really easy to cut. They're super soft so they can break down very easily. So once you've got your cubes what we're going to do is we're going to soak them in the prep bed water and then that will allow us to get ready for our seed planting. Now from the big pack here I've cut out just using a sharp knife. Um, this stuff is really easy to cut. Uh, as many cubes as you need. Here I've got 14. That's going to give me my weak supply of lettuce for two people. So there's 14 lettuce heads. And what we're going to do is we're going to take these uh, cubes and we're going to soak them and uh, get them ready to plant the seeds. This process is very easy. I, I took the pitcher and took some of the water that we prepared earlier and filled the, this container a little than, more than halfway full. And what I'm going to do, I'm just we're simply just going to place the rock wall cubes in there. You'll notice they'll sink directly to the bottom. Um, I suggest leaving them in there for around about 60 seconds allows the water to penetrate into all the gaps. So after leaving the Rockwell cubes in the water submerged for around about two minutes we're going to move them over and let them drain off. Just basically put them into the sink, make sure your sink's nice and clean. Leave them there for about 15 minutes and that will allow the water, any excess water to drain out. We don't want the cubes too saturated, we want actually some air in there as well. So if you plant the seeds while it's fully saturated, you're actually just going to end up drowning your seeds. So 15 minutes in the sink and we'll come back and we can get started. Okay, after 15 minutes you'll notice that your Rockwell cubes have gone a little lighter and that's because a lot of the water has drained away. Um, and now we're going to move them over to our prep area where we're going to start planting. Once your Rockwell cubes have drained and they're not too wet but still very damp, it's time to place them in your propagation tray ready for seed planting. Now standard, what we use is a standard seed tray and you can get these propagation domes which uh, keep the humidity in and also keep the temperature up. But these can be quite expensive. Um, approximately eight to ten dollars for the set. What I like to use is this. Now I got this from the dollar store and it's actually it's a little cake transporter. You've got yourself a little humidity dome and if you noticed I've just put a couple of little holes in the top to let the air out. And the tray inside, the reason I like this is if you notice it's got these little ridges this will allow you to place your rock roll cubes on the top and they're not sat directly in the moisture. So this is what we're going to use today. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our rock roll cubes and we're going to place them on the tray. Doesn't matter how you place them because eventually they're going to get all broken up into smaller pieces. So the items you're going to need to plant your seeds are your seeds. So today I'm going to plant some uh, Paris Island uh, romaine lettuce. You're going to need a small amount of vermiculite. You're going to need a toothpick and a clean paper towel. 
First thing I like to do is, using the paper towel and your seeds, is sprinkle a few of the seeds onto the paper towel. This makes them easier to handle and easier to see. Now to pick up the seeds, they're very, very tiny. Really, really tiny. Look at the size of them compared to my hand. Um, the easiest way to manipulate them is with a toothpick. So what I do is I moisten the end of my toothpick and I tap them. And if you notice right here, maybe it's a little hard to see, I have one seed on the end of my toothpick. Now with the seed on the end of your toothpick, what I then do is take it over to the Rockwell cube. I go down about a quarter of an inch, which is what it says you should bury them at, on the seed packet. And I push them into the wall of the Rockwell cube. So I repeat the process, most of the end of my toothpick, pick up a seed, take the seed over, push it into the opposite side of the Rockwell cube wall, give you a toothpick a little twist, and you can make sure it's off the end and embedded into the wall of the Rockwell cube. Now the reason I do that is I like to have maximum germination. I find that two seeds uh, per Rockwell cube gives me great germination, but you'll have to experiment depending on what variety of lettuce you're using and the success of your germination rate. The reason I put them on opposite sides of each of the Rockwell cube is it keeps the seedlings separated and um, when you're growing it's easier to thin them out later on. So just repeat this process for all of your Rockwell cubes. As you can see, it's pretty quick. Once you've completed all the uh, Rockwell cubes, uh, you can use the napkin and sprinkle the spare seeds back into your seed packet, which you can use for next, the next planting. At this point, I like to use my spray bottle and just moisten the seed gently, not too much, just enough to get them a little damp to help start the germination process. Once I've done that, you need to cover the seeds up, and this is what we use the vermiculite for. Now all you need to do is just get a small sprinkle, a little pinch, and sprinkle it in the hole. Don't pack it down because these seedlings are very light and they uh, are very delicate. So if you give them, if you if it's too compact, they're not going to be able to push through. So just give it enough to cover it up, keep it in the dark, and do this to all. Okay. Give one more dust with the uh, with the spray bottle. This moistens the uh, vermiculite. Very gentle with it. Don't hit it too hard with a spray bottle because it will actually blow it right off. You're then all good to go. Just take your lid, put it on. Put this on your heat tray in your propagation station, and that's all you need to do. So after a day of being sat on the heat mat, you should remove your plastic lid, and examine your, uh, your little seedlings in there. You'll notice they're still damp, but what we're going to do, we're going to take some of our treated water and we're going to add some to the base. Now we're not going to flood this, we're going to fill it so it basically just touches the bottom of the Rockwell cubes. And through the process of capillary action, the water will wick up in and keep your uh, Rockwell cubes nice and moist. So once that's done, you should replace your lid. And monitor it on a daily basis. Might give it a mist 
every so often if it feels like it's drying out on the top with the spray bottle and just keep the reservoir at the bottom just touching the base of the rockwell cubes just top it up as needed and the heat mat's going to stay on now for the next four to five days depending on what type of lettuce you're using and this will help the germination process